That's what you find out once you start talking about November the 22nd. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I mean, I was here. On that fateful day in 1963, Dr. Robert Schorlimer was a 25-year-old med student at the Parkland County Hospital emergency room when a mortally wounded President Kennedy arrived at the door. Just disbelief when I first saw it. This part uh, is just Im embedded in my brain. Is just this part of his uh, head was blown away and the brains were exposed. We wheeled him in and uh, started to get the IV uh, started. Jackie Kennedy was walking behind the gurney. Her dress was all uh, matted with uh, blood and clots and, and, and brain tissue. At that point, the Secret Service um, men came in and they were cursing and they said, who are you? And I said, I'm senior medical student, Schorlmer, and so they said, well, get the hell out. Minutes later, doctors pronounced Kennedy dead. While many of his colleagues were interviewed by the Warren Commission, Schorlmer was not, preferring to let the more senior doctors tell the official story. I don't make a big deal about it. It's just, it's not an accomplishment. I mean, Delivering quadruplets was an accomplishment. It was just something to be there. And so I never thought of it as anything other than I was a witness to a very significant part of history. Now, if you'd like to see the interview with Dr. Schorlimer in its entirety, you can. I've posted links to the full interview on Twitter at Streets Corner and at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. J.T. Street, Fox News at 9.